big gains today in the market. We started with Cobra 3, even ESP. This is kind of a break even trade. We tend to focus on counter trend strategies more in the even ESP intraday and trend strategies at NQ. So you see the NQ, same strategy, up 1675, break even on the ES, up 1675 on the NQ. Um, Adaptive moving average plus 425 got in a little earlier than the cover three and and had some profits on that and then uh, night trader we talked about this earlier hit its profit target before the day session even started huge huge gap up we always anticipate these in bull markets didn't anticipate this one yesterday this one caught me by surprise but the strategies captured the move so that's always good. Uh, when the strategies know 60 minute breakout just got stopped out yesterday at the beginning of the new session uh, kind of a felt like a stop run a little bit uh, and then it just rallied so that was a loss on the day it was already down so you see a strategy like this with minus 1025 it's a swing strategy it um, that's a thousand minus 1025 on the trade it exports the daily PL so the daily PL on this is really the difference between the close of 32.45 and the exit point of 32.37.50. So the actual daily P&L on this is really only minus 160. Uh, actually, this is not the NQ, it's the ES. So the close of 32.45 to 32.37, so it's about 400, uh, down about 400 on the day, not 1,000 on the day, but it's a down 1,000 on the trade. So keep that in mind. Look at these output indicators. I may adjust those in the future. So that um, I mean, it, when I, I use these for exporting daily P&Ls, and so this actually for swing trades, it's a little off on the actual daily P&L. It just be, basically shows the trade P&L. So keep that in mind. And gap continuation. Let's see, gap continuation right here, plus 1480. Just one of our favorite strategies. This uses a $300 stop loss and. Let's it run to the end of the day. It has a custom session, so the end of the day for this strategy is 2.30 Central Time, 3.30 Eastern. Uh, I have, have this one set to exchange time. And the stock index swing, plus 4.75. Uh, three days in a row where it says profit target, short, long, long. So it's kind of a small profit target for this volatility. You might look at expanding that. Um, could have made much more on last Friday. It could have made twice as much yesterday and a lot more today. So could ex could increase that profit target. I'll have to take a look at that. A lot involved. I want to see how it affects the other strategies in the portfolio as a whole. And then let's look at um, Asia 4 ES Long. Hit its $1,500 profit target today. And, you know, it had twice as much in the move. I mean, the E-mini S&P up 54 points. It's, it's amazing uh, to see that move. See the NASDAQ go up. Um, NASDAQ up 243. It's it's coming up to new highs and it's still it's just breaking through uh, to new highs. I believe that NASDAQ wants 10,000 badly by the spring and it could get there pretty quick. Um, this one got stopped out yesterday right at the open as well. Uh, the close was 91.05. It got stopped out at 90.76, so about 30 points. This was down about 600 on the day. Again, this shows minus 1,025, so just stopped out near the lows. I always hate it when that happens, but it's part of trading. It's normal. And so tick, uh, tick pullback. It's one of our top strategies that has struggled. Um, we thought about adjusting it, but we wait for days like this for it to recover, and then we'll look look for the adjustments in the future uh, winning streaks and losing streaks comes in cycles and it hit this winter today plus 725 on the ES and plus 2115 today on the NQ huge huge gains on the NQ trades I mean this just this is a massive run up it's hard hard to buy that gap up you don't usually want to do that but we had several strategies do it we need to take a look at tick pullback that's plus 2100 you look at uh, gap continuation at 1400 plus 1400 there and Cobra 3 plus 1600 there so those three strategies alone five thousand dollars on the NQ so you may, these three strategies made five thousand on the NQ so nice day 
in the stock indexes. Commodities are short. Uh, 475 profit target on SR counter trend crude oil. $475 profit target on SR counter trend for crude oil. Uh, $1,000 profit target on Asia gold for short. Uh, $175 gain on soybeans SR counter trend 2. Uh, Cobra Euro down minus 137.50. And those are the trades for the day on this workspace. In this workspace, uh, SR counter trend 3 natural gas is near its, near its stop loss or uh, it's minus 420, so it's close, but not there. And so these natural gas is just range bound, just sitting through this trade. And Cobra Crude, kind of a break even trade, minus $35. Uh, we beginning out at noon or 12:30 ish on short trades, and holding that trade a little longer would have been more beneficial in retrospect. The last couple of days, uh, these are some of the trades. On Friday, it was good to get out at 12:30. Yesterday could have held it longer. Today we could have held it longer and been more profitable. So you want to be consistent and use a consistent approach. You can't always just jump around and say I should have done this, I should have done that. You have to use what works best most of the time. And no trades today in this workspace. So huge, huge day. Um, lots of winners. High percentage of winners across the board. Crude oil, gold, mini S and P, mini Nasdaq. So great trading day here. Great start to the month, and these are some of the strategies in the portfolios.